Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and welcome to my final Monday vlog before Christmas 2016. Um, we are really in the thick of the festive period here and I love it, you know, I've got snowfall all around me. Um, yeah, we are less, well in fact, as I record this on Sunday, we are one week away from Christmas. Um, which is exciting for me, you know, it's, it's, it's come around really quick. And I'm, I, I love Christmas. I love, you know, the festive time, you know, and just the, the spirit that everyone gets in. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm going to be heading back home on Christmas Eve on Saturday. And I'll be staying there until Tuesday. Um, so about four days spent back down in uh, Liverpool. Just to spend some time with the family. Um, got a really exciting week coming up. Um, lots going on. Like, literally... A lot going on but I'll talk about the week just passed first um Rogue One wow you know been building up to this film for so long um it's been absolutely amazing you know I, I'm not going to spoil anything here I've got a review for the the film that uh you know is on my channel and I loved it I absolutely loved it if you want to know more go watch that review um but you know I'm sure if you have seen it I'm hoping that you did enjoy it uh, I really need to get a haircut. Look at the state of my hair. I was supposed to get a haircut this weekend, but um, on Friday I was so ill. Uh, I woke up, I mean, I was feeling pretty ill on Thursday because I went to watch Rogue One at the midnight showing on Wednesday night slash Thursday morning. And then I went to watch it again after I finished work on Thursday. And throughout the day on Thursday, I don't know if it was lack of sleep, um, but I was feeling really, really just so weak and uh, I could tell I was kind of getting a bit sick and Friday I woke up I felt god awful and you know I made it into work in the morning and I just couldn't stay I was just too sick so I came home literally slept for must have been at least 24 hours um, and only really have fully recovered today yesterday I was feeling a bit better but you know there was still little things that you know when you're ill you know that you're ill like I couldn't taste anything um I felt weak you know aches all over my body but right now I feel pretty good um and you know I, I've had a lot of technical improvements on the channel within the last week or two um most obvious is the green screen behind me which you can see the shadow on there um there's a lot of technical things that come along with having a green screen which the most important thing is lighting the lighting that I had before wasn't the best for green screen environment. It was good for lighting up myself, but in terms of lighting up a green screen, it wasn't brilliant. So I've bought a second, um, a second lamp that I use to um, to brighten this ugly mug, and it, it works pretty well. Um, I also bought these, you know, this headset here um, because the black headset um, it's the same model. It's exactly the same model, but the black headset didn't work as well on the green screen because, you know, anything black absorbs light and makes it more fuzzy. You can kind of see the fuzziness just around the edges. Um, with the black headset, it was it was pretty bad. So I got this. I've also got a new mouse, which is just kind of a cheapish thing. Um, the acceleration on it is pretty bad, which so I'll probably be looking to get another one fairly soon. But... I've got my new microphone, my new Razer Siren, which it's taken me a while to figure out the settings because it's so much more complicated than my old Snowball. Um, because with the Snowball, you literally just plug it in, set the volume, and you're off. You know, you can't really do too much more. With this, you've got different options of like how you want it to record and pick up audio. You've got the gain, um, you've got the volume, you know, so... I've had to mess around with the gain on it because if there's too much gain, it kind of picks up on the littlest things. It's such a sensitive mic that it can pick up on the smallest of things. So I've got it set to basically no gain um, and the volume all the way up. So hopefully it sounds decent. I know on a couple of my videos, it's not been brilliant um, just simply because of, you know, the fact that the settings have been out of balance um, and some of them, the episode audios have been a bit low. Which I'm hoping is fixed now. Um, so, yes, that's uh, that's something I'm really pleased with. I've got a good discount on it, and um, I'm impressed with it so far. So, hopefully, that's just one of many improvements to come on the channel. 
although I'm trying to think of what improvement it would be next. Um, but this week coming up is very exciting. Um, on Tuesday, I'm going to be... It's, it's basically it's the return of the co-op stream. I'm going to be uh, playing with Full Metal COS and a couple other of streamer friends. Um, we're going to be playing Magicka, and that's going to be over on Full Metal COS's channel. I'll put up more detail towards the, the closer to the time, you know, about where you can find the channel and how you can watch. It's going to be around about um, half seven, eight p.m. UK time. Um, Tuesday, I'm also going for toenail surgery. Uh, if you remember back in April, I had part of my toenail off and I did a Monday vlog from bed uh, after I'd had the surgery. Um, well, that was for an ingrown toenail and it's returned so i now have to have the entire nail off which is sent it's the same it's the same procedure you know it's 20 minutes um just have some local anesthetic get the nail off you know have it bandaged and then you know you just got to rest up for a few days so i'm gonna have that in the morning on tuesday then i'm gonna be recovering for a couple of days um because it's i'm not gonna be able to put a shoe on i'm not gonna be able to go anywhere <coughs> but that's been giving me a lot of trouble because um, it started right around the time I moved to Glasgow. Now, if anyone's had an ingrown toenail, you know how painful it can be. And I have to walk to work. It's about a mile and a half there, a mile and a half back every day. And, you know, taking into the accounts that I am already a big guy, you know, so there's a lot of difficulty in walking long distances. Although it's gotten a lot better as, you know, time's gone on. I've gotten used to it, gotten a bit fitter. Um having this constant pain in my toe, you know, it was really horrible. And it got infected as well. And because of the timing of my GP, I couldn't get in to see them up until about two, three weeks ago to get some antibiotics. So uh, the infection's gone. I'm going to be getting it off on Tuesday. Hopefully that'll sort out a lot of problems. Um, and then, you know, after Christmas, it'll be healed. And I'll be all good. And I won't have to have toenail surgery again because I won't have a toenail on Thursday I'm getting a very special opportunity um, that's again not 100% confirmed yet but it looks like it's definitely going to happen um, to interview a I, I'm not going to say who it is just yet but a uh, very famous wrestler uh, about a project that's coming up for them through WWE one of my friends Danny um, runs a a news affiliate website that kind of focuses on um, DVD um, DVD news, kind of like, you know, network news. It used to be DVD and Blu-ray news. And then since the networks come in, he does, like, network news. And, you know, again, I'll put up more information towards the time about who it is, um, who it's affiliated with, you know, and I'll give you all that information. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really nervous because I've never interviewed anyone before. Um, but I'm also quite excited. So again, it's still not 100%, but it's definitely in the works. I'd say it's like a 90% certainty right now. Um, so yeah, that's going to be really cool. And hopefully you'll learn more through the week once it's done. So yeah. Um, <coughs> other than that, again, just getting ready for Christmas. Uh, going to be recording a lot of videos for the channel this week. A lot of our shows are on kind of like hiatus, so... Um, what I've been doing for the Wednesdays, I've just been doing class, you know, putting the class reactions up so I can catch up on them. Um, Rebels is not being recorded until January again, um, so it's just uh, Full Metal Alchemist on the Saturday. And, you know, we've started Korra. Korra was really, really good. I, I enjoyed it, and, and a lot of people didn't like the fact that I didn't like the 1920s style in that first episode, but... Um, you know, that was the only thing that I really had a nitpicky problem with. You know, um, I made a few, you know, points of, oh, is everyone going to be related? You know, but again, having just come off the back of Last Airbender, it's kind of like, I'm going to make those connections. Like you say, I've seen the first two episodes and I've really enjoyed them so far. So, you know, I, I think it is, it's looking hopeful. It was just a bit of a shock to the system at first when I, you know, watched it and, like, 
I was just like, oh no, Ang's dead, you know, the, just different things that you know I think about, and I, I was just like, okay, this is a bit much to take in right away. So, yeah, um, I'm enjoying that, and that's going to carry on, and that's going to be good. So, I think I've rambled enough anyway. Um, I can't think of anything else really to talk about too much. Hopefully, I'm going to have some streams up myself in the week, as I say, whilst I'm recuperating. Um, so, if you haven't, then follow my Twitch stream. It's down below in the description. Um, and, yeah, just keep an eye out for more information on the channel. So, anyway, guys, um, as I say, if I don't get the chance to speak to you before Christmas, um, have, a, have a great Christmas, you know, merry tidings to everyone, you know. Um, and, yeah, just have happy holidays. So, uh, yes, thank you. Thank you all for watching. Uh, and I'll see you throughout the week.